right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white triple E. Pro sex, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Ready. What's going on everyone? This is ANCAP24 and welcome to another Throwback Thursday video. For those of you that are new to this series, we look back to videos that we've released in the past that still work the same or even better today in Madden 24. So in today's video, we're going to look at a deep dive that Pickham did last year on the cover two man coverage. He's going to teach you exactly how it works, why it's so popular right now in Madden 24, and ways that you can attack it in order to get yourself some success with it. What's up guys? It's Pickham with Huddle GG. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about cover two man defense. Okay, cover two man defense is going to be a man coverage defense with two safeties over the top. Now we're going to talk about the shading rules in this video. We're going to talk about what this is vulnerable against and how we could attack it offensively as well and what to look for. Okay, so again, with cover two man, pretty much every formation is going to have a cover two man defense call. All right, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, when you come out in your play we're going to have man on the underneath five defenders uh, and then we're going to have our two deep safeties in deep blue or deep half zones okay so similar to what we talked about last week with cover one defense where that stood for one high safety and man coverage underneath this is now two high safety with man coverage underneath okay now you will see that the outside corners if you look at them and the slot corner okay they are shaded inside of those receivers right in a cover two man defense in Madden, it's going to shade underneath and inside automatically. Okay, so if you do not do anything with your shading, the stock shade on this play is going to be inside and underneath. Okay, so if we would run streaks over here to the left, you're going to see that those cornerbacks are going to shade underneath and to the inside. Okay, so we'll go to replay just so you can see exactly what they're doing. And again, they're going to be playing a trail technique because just like we talked about with cover one, they know where their help is, right? Their help is over the top with the safeties. So they're going to try to play everything underneath, right? So you see these two guys here, they're going to play inside, right? And then they're going to play in a trail technique. Now the outside guy is getting beat because of an ability, uh, but you can see he is still looking to trail and play the inside. Uh, and again, funnel these receivers to our help defense who are these deep safeties, right? You're gonna see the same thing over here to the right, right? Our corner's going to be in a trail technique because he is going to have that safety over the top to help, okay? Now, one thing you will see at times, right, is depending on the route combinations, they won't always be able to get to the inside shoulder, okay? And this is actually a tell that you can see with a lot of man coverage in the game is if it's an in-breaking route, like you see these two on the left here, the crosser and the deep in, if your opponent's running something like this, you're going to actually know early on in the route because of the way the corners are going to play that. Okay. A lot of times those receivers are going to fight to the inside because they're going to be, again, trying to break inside, right? So you see here, even though our guys are lined up to the inside shade, those receivers do beat them to the inside. At this point, we know both of these receivers are going to break inside. Okay. You saw on the streak, our guys were getting the inside shoulder, but here, since both of our DBs have the outside shoulder of the receiver, this is just telling us that, again, these routes are both going to break to the inside. So as a user, you could cheat on that knowing both of these are going to go across the middle, right? But you see here, they're still trailing the receiver, right? They're always going to be in a trail technique, really no matter the route that is run, okay? Now, one thing you want to be aware of is if a receiver is not pressed, okay? So like I said, the base shading of cover two man is underneath shade right but depending on what formation your opponent's in not everyone is going to be able to press okay so if they're in nickel only the three corners are going to be able to press right if they're in dime they're going to have four and same with dollar right so the number of cornerbacks um, that are aligned on the field is really the number of players that can press uh, without you individually moving a guy down okay so you see here uh, if you look to the right there over 87 uh, right he's in man coverage but he's not pressed you see how he's about four to five yards off the ball if I try to press over and over, he's not gonna press, right? So if I, let's say I back up everybody and now I repress them, right? You see how that guy over Gronk or 87, he's not moving, right? That's just because he's not a cornerback uh, based off the formation. So he's not gonna be able to get that automatic press. Now, if you do see this, it's going to really tell us that that guy's gonna struggle to play man coverage because he's gonna shoot down trying to 
play underneath shade and it's just going to put him out of position okay so if we would run something like a streak here sometimes you will see a bump but you see how he runs forward and if there wasn't the safety over the top we were beat for sure okay so if i go back to the replay and we look at this you're going to see uh, exactly what i was talking about here right so again you see this guy you see how he sprints down right this is bad if you're on defense you don't want anybody in a cover two man alignment to be off their receiver like this okay and you see if he doesn't get this bump he's just going to get ran by easy and i'll show you exactly what i mean so let's say on the right side here right you see that corner on the right he's backed off if you're in cover two man and that guy's backed off and you don't change your shading you're going to be in a lot of trouble because he's going to get absolutely torched and you can see there he got torched and again luckily the safety was there for us but the corner is not going to be in any position to make a play on the ball because he's going to play so aggressively downhill because he's shaded underneath as you can see here and then our guy just runs right by him right he has four or five yards easy there if the safety's not there we're in trouble okay so when you're running cover two man one thing you want to make sure of is you want to make sure you have a four db or four cornerback set so your dimes and your dollars so if we come out and cover two man and dime you're going to see if we're in that same exact formation we now have 87 press to the right side okay now that's going to know or tell us that no one's going to get beat because they're just shooting down towards the line now they can still get beat depending on route combinations but this is something that is much safer for you as a defensive player knowing that all four of those receiving threats are pressed okay now one thing you do have to be careful of as well is if they're in something like five wide right if they are in a five wide um, style of uh, offense we are not going to be able to press everybody um, unless we would move him down individually right so you see here uh, if we do try to press there's going to be one receiver who is not pressed and that is the inside receiver there now what you can do is you can move this guy down and you can set him right here and when you click off he's now going to stay in that position and you would be a lot safer there okay so those are just some things you want to be aware of when you're running cover two man um, because you can get out of position really easy and it's something that is going to uh, possibly affect you and get you burnt over the top if you're not being smart about it okay one other thing that you do have to be careful of and be cautious of if you're running cover two man is understanding that motion routes can really hurt you at times okay so let's say um, we just come out in um, this any play really here this trips tight end okay what you're going to see is if they would motion somebody on like a drag or something okay it's going to really hurt the defense because he's not going to be able to get that jam and it's going to allow us at times to get past him okay not saying he will get past him every time but just know this is something you do have to look out for if you're playing cover two man is because when you do motion this guy again you're taking away the jam and at times that's going to give him a free burst here and really get us a lot of space on these underneath routes okay so that's something you do want to be aware of when you are um, again running cover two man under uh, or your opponent is running it right just understand that these are some things you do have to look out for right so you see there that's exactly what I'm talking about obviously we didn't complete the pass there but I'll go to replay real quick just to show you what I mean where we can really get a lot of space if we are using these motions and if your opponent's using these just be aware of these because here our DB is trying to press the receiver but he can't so especially if he has something like short and elite you can see the space that he can generate here uh, just because he never gets hands on the receiver okay now this is going to be something that is pretty consistent so you do want to be aware of this and be careful of that uh, but other than that cover two man is going to be a really aggressive style of defense uh, when you're playing those man those man coverage guys are going to play very aggressively because they're going to be shading down and really trailing that back hip of the receiver uh, and that's why it's so frustrating to stop or go against at times is because it's such tight coverage um, and really your only way to throw is over the top but again that's where those safeties are to really help so again this is another example of how you're going to funnel these players to wherever the help is right we talked about it in cover one the same thing is going to remain constant here with cover two man is these man defenders are going to funnel their receivers to wherever those help zones are on the field